equity and justice is one thing one major thing that can keep nigeria as a united one country other than that anything short of that we are we may probably be seeing the last days of nigeria hello fam welcome back to our channel as it is right now nigeria is going through so much with so much agitators so much um talks secession groups emanating everywhere everybody speaking with one thing give us referendum give nigeria should break up uh, change the 1999 constitution as, as amended so many people talking Sunday Bo was seen with a uh, professor Kintoye also speaking over the same matter Mazen Amdekan with other groups of course with Asaru Dokubo all seeing the same issue all on the same matter I guess the government is listening to all these complaints from these sectors well before we go to the newspaper to find out what it is a northerner is telling the whole Nigerians to do as and now, which are a spark of a lot of reactions, and Nigerians are really coming out to speak up their mind. We'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, another now who is also a social media influencer has advised Ebos and Yorubas to stop following Namde Kanu and Sunday Boho. He advised them to stop following Kanu. And Boho, shortly after Sunday, Boho claimed that the Yoruba people are not interested in being part of Nigeria again. According to several reports that were published by credible sources, Sunday, Boho called on the United Nations to help the Yoruba people split away from Nigeria. The videos are everywhere, about a 36 minutes video there about. Let's continue. He said that the Yorubas have suffered enough that they are not interested in being part of Nigeria anymore. He also alleged that the president Buhari is always favoring Fulanese and he made mention of two Tinkan ports, Tinkan land in Lagos in Apapa, that is allegedly controlled by the Fulanese. Igbo also sent a strong message to the United Nations and said that the Yoruba people are no longer under Nigeria. And if the United Nations do not intervene, things would go beyond control. Nigerians have been reacting to his statement and many had a different opinion about it. Another, another man who is a social influencer, using the social media handle, urged the Yoruba people not to allow Sunday go decide their fate, adding that the activist is in no position to declare some parts of Nigeria as a Yoruba nation. And the best thing for Nigeria now is unity. Don't also forget also that the Arawa youth too have also given the Yorubas, uh, given to the Boho to tell the Yorubas living in the north 72 hours, 72, 72 hours to vacate the north with immediate effect. Everybody is talking. In a country where everybody is talking, nobody, we don't even hear one person talking. Like in the case of our presidency, we keep hearing the presidency. By the time we check who is talking, it's just, uh, it's Femi Adesina. You hear another, the presidency, you check who is talking, Loretta Onoche. You hear another one, the presidency, who is talking, Se Ugaba. Rarely do we even hear the president himself talk. Rarely. It's always the presidency, this, the presidency, that. Yes, I know that all media persons, but sometimes, grace our screen with your presence. Because in, the, in this phase, everybody now is talking. Everybody now have the right to talk. I don't know why I've spoken, so they go, I've so spoken. I just hope that they will, if this is even the best time, the president himself should come in and wait in and say whatever he needs to say now. So that he can calm all, temp, all, all tempers. But if he doesn't talk and now they will start doing what they want to do in the north, it will not just be the Yorubas they will start touching. They will touch both the south, south, and the southeast, and the old eastern region. They will touch all southerners because they may not be able to differentiate the common man out there, may not be able to differentiate the Yorubas from the Indibos. They will just say all southerners, Yamani. That will end it. And they may, it may not. This, the counter reactions back in the south may be disastrous. So we need to really look at this and cut it in the air. But of course, it's not for us to decide. It's for the president and those in leadership to react appropriately, or else, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, we may be seeing the last days of Nigeria if effective and decisive decisions are not made now. But let's hear what um, the, the young man said. In, I want to quote his words. He said, 
Sondegbo is in no position to declare some part of Nigeria a Yoruba nation. Yoruba people shouldn't allow Igboho decide their fate. Nigeria needs unity, not killing each other. The Igbos and Yoruba should stop following Namdekano and Igboho. Now hear what others replied him. You see, what is good for the goose, honestly, is also good for the gander. This one here is telling him, and tell your northern brothers to stop calling terrorists bandits. To scrap that two-in-one constitution, make sure that there is equity and true federalism. That is the cause of the problem. This true federalism is why we are where we are now. Until we face, we call it spade a spade and face the harsh reality of life and stop propaganda and stop carrying propaganda. We are running in circles. This young man just said it in a nutshell. When it is the like Kabari Bay, we say, when it is um, the, the uh, some particular region, they say it is not, uh, it's not bandit, it's, it's not criminality. They are called bandit, they should be given amnesty. But when it's in another particular part of the region, they will say, no, uh, protesters are the ones that are terrorists. They should, they, they should charge them with treasonable felony. You begin to see you know, inequality. In, in the law, like uh, Abari Bell will say, there are two laws that are governing in Nigeria, one for the south and one for the north. You begin to see, sometimes you call this, you may think it's harsh, but, but those are facts that are disturbing. Let's continue with the news. This one here is saying, I will follow Namdekano with my life. How dare you tell Igbos whom to follow? What have I gained as a Nigerian? Look at what Nigerians are saying. This one here, this one here is saying, we shouldn't allow Sunday, but, but we should allow and support Gume. Or what is he called? Amiti Allah, who are deciding on all tribes' fates. Have you heard? We should, did he say, yeah, well, he said, they shouldn't follow Sunday, Bo and Namdekano, but you can allow Gume to be talking on behalf of the whole Nigerians. And nobody is questioning him. Why should he talk, talk about bandits and giving them good names? They should allow people who have been talking, we say they will shout, they will hate speech. Hate speech. Some persons have gotten used to the hate speech that is no longer hate speech. It's not normal. This one here is saying, I don't support division, but why almost all government agencies are governed by northerners? This is so unfair and glaring. And that's why they are saying, that's what Sunday Boe is saying, that every right place, every wonderful place, or every power status are being headed by the north. You are still saying the same thing that Sunday Boe said, but this time around, you are using English. Sunday Boe is using Yoruba. But it's still the same thing, the same language, the same statement. This one here is saying, when people are agitated to leave a place, it means they are fed up. Do you know how much we stand to lose with the level of insecurity and bad policies propagated by those in office? If you're objective enough, you should be tired of the charade we call governance. People are angry. Let's go wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. What's your take on what this Nadina is saying and what the Nigerians are giving to him back?